Hi all, and welcome back to our Sims 3 Let's Play Season 2. Yeah. I've been uh, sending uh, Kim here out to gather some stuff. Dick through, no, we can't. But there's something I need to show you guys. Don't ask me why, because I don't quite know myself. Uh, you remember, let me just pause it here. Let me see, where is it? Um, it's up here, so, no, it's not. Uh, where is it? Uh, God, world, well, not world view, but, ah, here we go, there. You remember that I tried to steal the uh, alien car right here, right? Give it a second. And you will see it does not load up the alien car. It loads up this one. But not the alien spaceship car. And I was wondering why didn't it do that and stuff like that. Uh, I couldn't get the swipe to work. So why isn't it loading up the alien car? And I was like, oh, well now it's it's gone because, well, it sometimes happens that the... Uh, uh, cars disappear because the owners come and drive them away and I don't see them. And I'm like, uh, oh well, screw it. And I'm like, uh, okay, let's go over here and uh, do do this one, the swipe thing. We're going to do that right now. Hey, a vampire. <laughs> yeah, I went, uh, I did that and it's, uh, I could do this. See, see, the car is gone. That's because that was his car. That was the vampire's car. Uh, car. I did that, I did the swipe thing, uh, for example, like now, you see there's no indication of the swipe thing, right? But I could, I could do it like it's doing now, doing the swipe thing. And uh, I was like, what, why can I do the swipe thing, there's nothing here. And he did the animation, looking around and yoink. And I'm like, okay, what did I just swipe? Looking in my family inventory. I end up with this. I got it, baby. I got the uh, alien car. <laughs> and uh, Pablo here is upgrading it for space travel. Daisy is still sleeping. Yeah, that's or no. Keep Well, let's just uh, have uh, Kimbo here go up here, go here, do a bit of inventing. Grab my 117 scrap piles here. 111, sweet. I like there's a little bit of a scrap pile on there. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. Office, uh, office drone, yeah. I gotta, I gotta, oh, sorry, excuse me. Oh, oh a bit of a, a tide spell just went over me there. <laughs> uh, let's uh, see, can we buy a Buy a cabinet of some kind in order to store these away. Bookshelves, nah, no, that's not what I wanted. Uh, storage, dresses, miscellaneous. Bookshelves, dresses, miscellaneous, storage. No, all of the effing above. Hmm, what the? What the heck? The water. The wardrobe of wonders. What the fuck? What the fuck is this? And it's not even from the future. <laughs> it's got a llama picture with wings. What the f what the fuck is this all about? Okay, seriously, I gotta t test this out. How much how much does it cost? One thousand two. Oh, okay, that's pre that's a pretty fair price. Um, yeah, the wardrobe of wonders. How the heck are we gonna test this thing out? Um. Yeah, let me 
you see, there's not that much room down here. Um, no, let's go up again. I think we can just let us just smack it down right there. We gotta test this thing out and see what the fuck this thing does. <laughs> My cat. Okay, um, what do we got here? We got a, whoa, deep stack double bookshelf. Holy crackamole. A uh, stack of bookshelves right there from the future. Huh? Transnomic tower dresser by... Cool. Okay, yeah. Hey, there we have the book receptacle thingy. It prints out a digital book for you. Lot <laughs> what a weird statue of boat. And another boat, of course. But I don't see anywhere we can... Uh, why don't we have a storage? Why don't we have storage units? I can't put anything in there. Hmm. Could it be that it is somewhere else than in... Let's see, hobbies and... That's the alchemist. The alchemists. I can store alchemist things in there. Uh, but no storage units. I wanted to, uh, I wanted a place where I could just uh, uh, place items on and stuff like that. For example, my uh, all of these um, nanites that I have and stuff like that. I just have a place where they can store out and uh, I can view them and say, "Oh, I got these. I got these." Why? Can, why is? Why is that so hard to find? No, what screw it. We're gonna test out this uh, thing on my bob over here. Okay, um, yeah, he's going up there. What is she doing? She is preparing some food, apparently. Oh, she's grabbing something out of the fridge. Oh, goddamn, sorry. <sighs> mm. What are you doing? You're just watching some TV. Oh, you can stop watching that. You're gonna be the guinea pig for this one. Shut up, phone! Not, ugh, not you can even woohoo. <laughs> oh my god! Put on graduation robes. Nope. You know, we're gonna plan uh, plan her outfit because uh, uh, her sleeping wares is not to my liking. And those two are still having fun in there. Pablo, how are you doing? Wait a minute, wait a minute. What is that little thing that's on the window? Okay, that's making me dizzy. What the hell? I thought to go here. Plan out your outfit, yeah, a little. No. Oh well. Oh, okay. I've hoped for a little bit more of an. Nushki uh, Zanzi. <laughs> okay, uh, let me see. Everyday outfit. I kind of like the one she has on. I like the one she has on here. Oh yeah, it's because it's loading up all the outfits. <sighs> there we go. You can see how many outfits I've got. But damn. Extras. What's this one? It's an outfit I've unlocked. Cool. Huh? Oh my god! What the fuck? Oh 
Holy shit! What kind of outfit is that? <laughs> For fuck's sake. And here we have uh, one of the uh, nano suit outfits. Pretty damn cool. Uh, you get extra from uh, buying the, um, yeah. Holy, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, the, um, ah, uh, uh, the Sims Medieval, you know, the Medieval games that the Sims made. Uh, like, uh, it's like the Sims 3. It's the same, uh, uh, same graphics and composition and stuff like that, but it's in medieval times, and you build houses and stuff like that. Yeah, you, if you have that on the same account as your Sims um, on um, Origin, you unlock the dresses, so you get the medieval uh, medieval Sims uh, dresses here as well. Oh, pretty snazzy. Oh, what is this one? Wow. Oh, that's actually, that's actually quite beautiful where it's, it's black and goes down to red. <whistles> that's going to be her, her fancy dress. Oh my god. This, one, this button is much better. There's also this one. This is more modern type. That's pretty damn beautiful as well. Um... Ooh, the wedding dresses. Wow. Whoa. Now that's a beautiful wedding dress. Woo wee. <laughs> Pretty laid back, cool. That's also one of those uh, new um, uh, from the Sims into the Future stuff. That here. I don't like I don't like all the ribbons and overlays and stuff like that. Um, some uh, could be cool. The one that goes right around the waist here, that's pretty cool. And maybe those that goes right on top here, that should be gone. But the one that goes right up beside here, that's pretty cool. But all of these here in the middle, uh, on the buttocks and stuff, away with those. I might just uh, might tweak this thing up a bit, make a custom one what we got here <laughs> oh my god <laughs> what the heck is this one this is ah yeah this is a, no what the heck is this one i think it's a plant versus zombie thing okay what else have we got Ooh, a tribal one or oh, whatever another wedding dress pretty very pretty indeed Okay, what else have we gotten that I haven't <laughs> seen before? Okay, this is the normal vanilla Sims. Yeah. This is um, uh, from uh, the travel and adventure stuff. This here is from... I think this is uh, it's also from the travel and adventure stuff, it looks like. There are quite some pretty dresses, I must say. But yeah, it wasn't uh, this one. Let's go back. Um, she should revert back to uh, her normal dress. Okay, formal. Sorry about that. I'm a bit, uh, a bit stuffed, stuffy in the schnoz. It is doing its thing, yeah. There we Rafia. go. Okay. No, we're gonna go out to full dresses. Let it load up. Do you know what, guys? It's gonna take too goddamn long for it to load up the dresses and me waiting for it to load up and stuff like that. I am just going to uh, cut it for here and show you what I come up with. So see you in a bit. Okay, and here's what I come up with so far. I found her original dress. 
as her everyday wear uh, number one. I also got a new one for number two, so it doesn't. She doesn't have the same thing on every single goddamn day. If it would load, please. Thank you. Come on, get a move on. <sighs> Here you go. Dag dag. A little diesel one for her, with a couple of uh, new age shoes with anti gravity at the heel, <laughs> because there's there's no heel. So yeah, that's uh, her second uh, everyday wear. Her formal wear is uh, the one we saw a little bit earlier. The one that I really like, that long black sleek dress there. Let us just have it load up. Suzu. There we go, that one where it turns into red uh, at the bottom. That's gonna be her formal dress wear. Pre Nufa. And her sleeping wear. Sleeping where the clothes she's going to sleep in. A cute little uh, pink number right there. Ishki Zanzi. Here we have her athletics wear. I haven't changed much about it. I've just given her a couple of uh, trainers instead of high heels. It's a bit weird having high heels in the athletics wear. Rafia. Here we have a uh, also a very pink or hot pink uh, little number for her swim uh, swimming wear. It was kind of cool, but the the one the original one is this one over here where it's pink uh, bottom and this uh, teal green top. So I just uh, copied the pink for her bottom up to the top, so it matches a little bit. Salaba Wifa. For outdoor wear, we're going with a big, big woolen uh, jacket, just so we can uh, get a good warmth and huge uh, ski uh, ski trousers or ski pants. What you normally would uh, go to ski with, and a pair of good old leather boots. So yeah. This is my fashion tips for today. <laughs> oh my god, let's get on with it. Nice. Okay. He's happy. <laughs> Romantic intense. Let me see. They are young adults, right? They're young adults. Yeah. I'm not sure I can marry at a young adult <laughs> age, but uh, what the hell. I'm getting down with the relationship with Papa, so gotta get the, that thing up. Okay. I want you blurpsing. Sorka. Well, they're having a, a threesome conversation. That's pretty cool. Cheap, Johnny Safasim. Dummy Zofu. Oh. Our niece. Lars to be Pretty cool you can have a, a, a three-way conversation. And Daisy is still. Oh, you're still not good at that, huh? What the? Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, 
Ah, let's go to sleep. These two are like so happy being inside that little playpen there. Um, apparently there's something here. He went a big. Doesn't seem like there's anything in impeding their movement, but yeah. Okay, uh, let's uh, let's have both of them go up here. No. 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 Oh. A quick charge. This quick charge. a good girl. Ah, she's quite happy. Take a walk to the pool. Cool. Snip Shirley. Lick Cindy. <laughs> Learn to hunt. Bark at Shirley. Nah, well, why the heck do you want to do that? Oh, oh, oh. Henry's hungry. <laughs> well, then let's see if we can't uh, feed him, shall we? <laughs> I hope he eats her. <laughs> hey, 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 reporter, reporter. Look, look, look. Pie. See pie? Go get the pie. Go get the pie. Come on, reporter. Go get the pie. Go get it. Go get the pie. Huh? What the? Ah, okay. I was like, what? React to upgraded object. Oh. Hell yeah. You who reporter, get the pie, get the pie. With the job of dark. Catch her in time. Pick up Lisa. Yeah, go, go get the pie. Go get the pie. That's a good thing. Ah, oh, goddammit. Okay, apparently I discovered something here that I did. 
Okay, do you know what we're gonna do, guys? We're gonna go space traveling. Great storm, a toxin. Travel to the moon, planet Nexium. The great actor of planet Nexium. Let's travel to planet Nexium. <sighs> Why are you playing out in the street? Interest? No, I don't think so. Tell me, Var. Uh, weird. Oh well. What? Who's it, Nippy? Ah, she's out back crying because her plants are. Oh well. Oh, 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 oh. 
Making something yourself. Okay, cool. Have her do her thing. And then, uh, reinforcement, scold for being aggressive, Chase. <laughs> So. It's called praise for being neat. No, Uba Zao Zao. So, what did you call us? Need to get that ex uh, aggressive streak out of her. So yeah, before we call it a day here, let's give you guys some gifts and have her get the reward points, shall we? Of course, we always start with the lovely ladies first. Sending a surprise gift here. Jessica, with Jesse. And to get, uh, Bill, <laughs> sorry, it's difficult to pronounce your name when you Type such a weird name, <laughs> or maybe it's because it's in a different language. So sorry about that. Uh, applying that I know what's in it. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, let's see here. Retro, you little bastard! You can get a potion, can you? Bits of use and nut fire, my dear old pal. You can get a luxury care package. Here you go, you bloody bastard. There we go. All five packages sent, and we're up to 7,500. Let's see, what can we buy for 7,500? Attitude adjustment, that is exactly the one we need. 
Uh, yeah, attitude adjustment. Purchase. Bam. Destructive. Nope. Away with you. Uh, what are we gonna? Hunter. Hyperphobe. Hyper. Nope. Independent. Lazy. Likes to swim. Loyal. A pig, playful, proud. Ah, oh, yeah. Quiet, shy, skittish. No, we're gonna have her loyal. There we go. Okay. Oh, I can take. I can take another thing too. Okay, cool. Uh, and. Friendly uh, pets with friendly traits. Uh, not only get along better with other pets, they will usually have better relationship with their sims as well. Genius pets are always thinking on their paws or hooves. Uh, they learn skills and new tricks quickly and get along uh, well with other genius pets and sims. So that's actually quite cool but we gotta get the friend friendly trait let's continue <laughs> oh. being aggressive here two things for the price of one i am happy about that <gasps> So yeah, thank you all so very much for watching. Oh, God, God. Uh, uh, okay, it's on the flip side.